hands clap. What's going on guys? Welcome to, sorry I'm away from the mic. Welcome to another mm, kind of get ready with me but this is get unready with me if you can't tell by the ears. And also you guys deserve a fit check. Mm, this is, we have a lot to talk about but you need to understand my vibe right now. Can you see this? Does this mean anything to you? We have the double, what is this called? Fleece? No. And look at the, like these pom-poms make me so happy. It's like I have balls. Anyways, so that's the vibe. I just got out of the shower. It's 11, 19 p.m. on Friday night, February, what? Friday, April 30th. And I'm all, I just got really hot, so. Taking it off. <sighs> to my sleep tank top. <laughs> so I just posted on my, I talk like this for the whole video. I just posted on YouTube, just get, kind of giving you guys an update because I haven't posted in almost a week and that's the longest I've gone in a while. You guys are real close to me right now. Are you okay with being there? Um, And I'm not kidding, <laughs> even just talking to you guys, like I think six people replied right away and I was just talking to you guys, you made me feel so much better. And just like, I just got all this energy and happiness and I'm like, I can film tonight. And I wanted to film my skincare routine with you guys anyway. So I thought, why don't I do it all together? So let me walk you guys through what I do at night. And um, this is has been my routine for a few weeks now. I'll actually show you products this time. I'm using the Garnier Micellar Water for makeup remover. I, I usually don't wear makeup unless I'm filming, then I filmed today. Haven't looked at the footage yet. We'll see how that goes, but, um, ooh, that went straight into my eye as if I, wow. Okay. So now I have to freak out that I'm going to be blind for the next little bit. And, uh, that's okay. That's accurate to my nighttime routine. Freaking out about something that isn't real. Anyone else? You count sheep, I count scary situations that could never happen to me, but just might because I can think them up in my brain. Sweetie, we're not the same. <laughs> okay, so, I don't know, I picked this up to show you guys, nothing came off. Um, next, I love this product, Polish Choice Exfoliate, Exfoliator. Now, full disclosure, am I using any of these things properly? that's up to your opinion. I, this is what works for me. I've been doing it for a few weeks, so I'm not going to say follow along unless you want to. Like, I have no idea, guys. I'm not, I'm not a skincare expert, but I use this in my hands. I pour some in and this is a BHA. It's an acid, so it gets rid of uh, like blackheads and it does, it basically is an exfoliator, a chemical exfoliator. So I focus it on the areas I get blackheads, which is like under my chin, around my nose, and down my cheeks, and then the rest of it I just kind of like put everywhere. <laughs> and I love this stuff. You're, I, I don't use it every night, but I just wanted to use it tonight to show you guys what I do. And this could, no, I'm not, I'm not, anyways. I'm only gonna say it once, I don't know what I'm doing, but you guys are watching me, so who's the fool? It's me still. I also like the Inky List products. This is really, really affordable stuff. I think this was like $5 or so, and it's lasted me a really long time. This is a BHA as well. Dare I look in the ingredients? This The ingredients are on the box of this, but same thing. Chemical exfoliator, love it. Learn it, live it, love it. Do not put this around your eyes, like not even on your eyelids. I actually have a cut on my finger and it's burning that cut. Probably not great. Drink of the choice. Drink of the drink of the tr tr choice of the drink. Drink of the day. Drink of the night is water. That was an unnecessary. But I've been really dehydrated because I've been crying a lot. <laughs> Just girly things. <laughs> so next step is I can't believe I have all this energy right now. You should have seen me all day. It was depressing, man. <laughs> um, I use the Ordinary Rosehip Oil. 
I have a few ordinary products, but I know that if you're gonna the bet like these are really inexpensive products, but the best quality ones are gonna be like the hundred percent rosehip oil. I also have the niacinamide, ten percent zinc. Sorry, ten percent niacinamide. Ni ni niacin niacin. I can do this. Is that an L? No. Niacinamide. Niacinamide. And 1% zinc. I don't use that ever really. Um, but I love the rosehip oil and it's 100% pure oil. <laughs> I can never open it. That's the one downfall. She does it all. And this is what I use with my gua sha. I actually think it's pronounced gua sha. Can someone correct me? Because this stone <laughs> I'm distracted by the lights. Um, it's kind of, it's like, not kind of, it's very much gone viral. And it's an ancient Chinese technique, I think. Let me fact, no, I feel like it is. Um, history of Gua Sha. Yeah, by the ancient Chinese. Oh my God, 1368 to 1644. Wow. Okay, anyways, all that to say, I think a lot of people watch one tutorial and then we're like, oh, I can do it like this and then just ran with it. And this can damage your skin in many, many, many ways. So it's important to watch a legit tutorial. I'm gonna link below the tutorial that I've been following and it's from a legit, like she knows what she's talking about. So be very careful. And I'm gonna try to relay back what I've learned from her to you guys. So. I have the BHA on my skin. That could be totally wrong, but that's for me, you to know and me to find out, honestly. Um, and I take a full dropper. Why am I hunched like that? And I take a full dropper of the rosehip oil. And I have really oily skin. Before you guys are like, oh, I can't use oil, I have oily skin. That's the point. Your skin produces oil because you have you don't have enough oil. That's the whole point of oily skin. I take it in my hands and I press it into my skin, down my neck. <laughs> I do this every night and it's my favorite thing. Like taking this time for self care is so nice. And it's always what I need at the end of the night. So, guasa, I think it is pronounced guasa. Take the stone. Also fun fact, not fun fact at all. Um, do not use a jade stone. Jade is porous, which means there's little holes in it and it can clog your pores like crazy. So, um, this is a black onyx, I believe. Again, like, I don't know what I'm talking about guys. <laughs> um, but I think rose quartz is a really good one. And this one, because there's no, it's not porous at all. So a lot of people, if you're, I've never broken out from Gossa. I've been doing it for about a month now. Um, but if you do find you're breaking out, I wash this, sorry, I'm all over the place, but I wash this with my face wash after every use. So Wash it really well. I wouldn't use hand soap on it because it's going back on your face anyways. This is what I do. Start from the neck and you always go up. And the trick to guasa, you guys, is keeping it as flat as possible. Do not go like this. Can you see that? You have to bring it flat and light pressure. I need to sit up straight for this. Class is in session. And you're going to bring it. I never take my necklace off. I haven't in years, but it's fine. And you're not gonna use like a crazy amount of pressure. And when you get to the bone, you like shake it a little. I shake it especially, you'll see under my jaw. Um, this is, if you guys have never heard of this, this is a lymphatic drainage kind of technique and it just gets the blood circulation in your lymph nodes flowing. So you can get a lot of, sorry, and you do it five times each, five passes each time. See how I'm keeping it really flat? Like it's, I'm not like, that is really bad for your skin, guys. Do not do that. Really, if you're gonna do this, you have to watch a proper tutorial. And then, yeah. And then, I don't know if you're supposed to do this way, but I like it. I bring it up like the curbside, up my kind of neck, my kind of neck. And then here, it feels so good for me to like shake it. <laughs> and the reason you shimmy it is to get, is to drain everything that you're moving around. Three, four. Five. And then this way, again, like look how flat I'm keeping it. And then around the ear, you shake. Every, anytime you hit bone 
is when you kind of massage it in. So I'm not using a lot of pressure here. And you should always, you should never be pulling your skin. So that's why I'm holding on to make sure it's not like anything crazy. And I do under the jaw a few more times than five. Just because I need that place to be snatched. The other side. And then I go up like this. shape in this way and I go at my cheekbone and you never want to pull your skin around your eyes so make sure you're going really gentle there I'm not counting four five this side remember keep it flat I see a lot of people like going like this to try to like carve it out you guys please your skin And then this is a new one that I learned and I'm kind of scared I'm going to do it wrong. But she like went like this. I saw it on TikTok. <laughs> Classic, like famous last words. But when I do it, I feel like my nasal passage opens. Up. Like I feel like. And then she does this one. One, two. And then. You need to make sure there's oil under your eyes if you're gonna do this one. Very gently, bring it in this way. You do not wanna be pulling your skin. And then, where was I? Sometimes I like to do this under, a little bit harder under my, uh, I'm doing this in the wrong step right now because I forgot, but you can feel all these little knots, these little muscle knots come out and it feels so good. Okay, this is really burning. You guys? Oh. Yes, queen. This is the only place in my face that I'm a little bit more rough. Yeah. Okay. I don't really know the forehead one. <laughs> Guys, if I didn't say it before, like, I don't really know what I'm doing. That's why you have to follow along someone else and not me. But this is what works for me. And then this is, I found really big results with my forehead wrinkles with doing this one. Going up. And that's it. And you can also do the back of your neck. If you are, it feels so good. And I've done these things before. These things. <laughs> but you should do that first. Anyways, just don't pay. This is entertainment only, guys. So how y'all doing? <laughs> anyway, so that's guasa. Guasha. Let's find out what that, how it's pronounced, please. Next. Now, I layer many more products that you will soon find out about. So my face is covered in rosehip oil and I have very oily skin. And I see a lot of people being like, oh, I have oily skin, I can't use an oil. And I, I guess I don't know your life, but oily skin likes oil, especially like I would never wear this to go out. Oh, actually that's something I should say too. Sometimes I'll do gloss in the morning. And I saw this girl on TikTok talk about this and I'm like, that's so smart. She uses a cleansing oil in the morning so she'll put it on whatever and then wash it off and it's like cleaning her face and cleaning the guasa so if i'm doing it in the morning i'll use a cleansing oil and if i do it at night i do rosehip oil my skin when i wake up you guys after this process is the most like plump bouncy clear moisturized skin in the world so don't be afraid of oils okay this is a new product but i really love it i don't really know if it's done anything yet because i haven't been using it for that long but it's the juice beauty like look how cool this packaging is juice beauty i don't think you're gonna be able to read it lifting neck cream now to my 13 to 18 age group that's watching me right now yes i'm using a neck cream 
too pumped, baby, because your neck and your hands, you're going to want to take real good care of them, okay? Listen to me now. And you're always going to want to go up. When you wear your sunscreen every day, ladies and gentlemen, put it on your neck. And I love layering moisturizers over the oil. I was always a little bit hesitant about it, but no, it's the best. It, it's really good. Um, I use my OG Fresh Ro Deep Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. This stuff is magic. It makes my skin look amazing. And I'm using. I use a lot of this at night, almost like a heavier night cream. Sure. So luxurious. <laughs> I also uh, wash my bed, my uh, pillowcases multiple times a week. I mean, I like change them and then I wash them all at the same time. But because I use all this stuff on my face, like I don't want to break out from my pillowcases. So I do that too. And then I use, I mean, there's like a few things I do, but I'm just going to stick to this. Sometimes I put on, I have this face water. <laughs> this is going everywhere. Face tan water. And this can be a whole other video, but I became paranoid about things I'm putting in and on my body in quarantine. Like self tanner, I know has always been real bad for you, but like the DHA, I think that's the chemical in it. It's like not, it's real bad for you guys. So I found this brand EcoTan. And they have like a foam, I have it on right now, like a foam, like a classic, like Saint Tropez bronzing, like you sleep eight hours later, wash it off, it's amazing. And this is a face, it's like a toner, you put it on your dry skin, and then when you wake up, you're like a little bit tan, and you use it like three or four times a week, and you're like sun-kissed, it's really nice. But I forgot to do that today, so I'm not doing it. Um, the eye cream now. My hands are all oily, so I need to open this with Kleenex. I asked you guys on Instagram what eye cream you're using because I bought one from Lancome and there was fragrance in it. And I know fragrance isn't, everyone's like, oh, it's not that big of a deal, but it kind of is because it irritates my skin. So I don't like fragrance in my products unless it's like natural. Like this has rose, like rose extract in it. That doesn't bother my skin. Um, even like moisturizers that are scented, I don't like. So... I landed on, I had a few recommendations of this and I liked it because it's drugstore, drugstore price, and it has retinol in it. I've never used any retinol before. This is ROC Retinol Correction Line Smoothing Eye Cream. Dermatologist recommended. Um, it like passed all these tests, won all this, these awards. Um, it's gentle enough. Like retinol's always scared me because I know it's not something you can play with. Like you have to be very aware of what you're layering with it and what you are exposing yourself to when you have retinol on your face. So this is gentle enough that you can use morning and night. And it's like six weeks guaranteed, wrinkles reduced, whatever. So I loved it. I, or I love it. It's about, I think it's 20 bucks or something. I mean, I know that's still expensive. Also, there was a lot of discourse in my discourse on Instagram talking about how you don't need an eye cream. And like, that's totally fine if you don't need an eye cream. People are like, oh, it's a hoax. Yeah, I, like you're allowed to believe that, but I love I will not stop using eye creams. I love them. They're so nice and make I see a huge difference in my under eyes when I use an eye cream, especially when I wear makeup. You guys know, or if you don't, now you know. I'm dedicated to my banana bread eye cream under makeup. I actually a girl who watched me in DMs what said that she bought this. Can you reply below and tell me if you like it? I really want to know. Or I'm gonna find you in my DMs and ask. You got this and the primer. Please tell me how you feel because I want to try the primer too. And then with a few fingers, also I was just patting that in. And with like two or three fingers, I take the rest of it and press it into my eyelids. Because you guys don't want crinkly eyelids. Well, I don't at least. And then usually, I was saying this before, I was using eye cream on my hands. And it's a little too expensive to do that now. So I use this. Sephora sent me this. It was a product that didn't get 
boxed up properly and there was no tag on it so they sent me an, an, a free one because I'm like um is this like okay to use <laughs> it's like the sample this is the coconut it's first aid beauty coconut something I don't even know but it's very nicely mo and moisturizing so I use this on my hands now um to moisturize before bed it's like a face cream but it works for me because I'm also a little bit scared to use it on my face because it was like it looked like it was opened yet I use it on my hands <laughs> It's okay. Only God can judge me. Um, what else do I do? I'm like looking at all my stuff. I also have this guasa that I use before showers sometimes with coconut oil. It's so nice on your scalp. And, um, oh, oh yeah, there's a few other things I do. I use the hair density oil. I'm gonna do that after I take the headband off. And then I also do my lip mask. I already have a little bit of this on now, but I'll use it. I was watching this TikTok and he was like, the worst uh, lip lip products that you could ever use. And I was watching it being like, please don't be Laneige. Please don't be Laneige. I know the stuff isn't great. Like it's not like organic or like natural. And before I repurchase one, I'd probably try to find a better one because I want, I want to be a natural girl. I want to wear organic makeup. Um, okay. Lip done. I think this is one of the last things I do. You guys, my eyelash serum. If you guys have noticed, my eyelashes are very long at the moment. You might not. You might think, oh, that's just natural. No, it's not. <laughs> I've been using this... Um, I've been using this eyelash serum for, and like I should have reached out to the brand and like try to get a brand deal off this, but I'm too lazy. <laughs> You're real too lazy. Lilash eyelash serum. I've been using this for over six years and I swear by it. Like if you are my friend in my life, you know about this stuff because I'm like, mm, it's amazing. I will say full disclosure, they raised their price by like 40%, I think in 2019. Like this used to be like 50 or $60, I think. And now it's 120 Maybe it was 80 to start with and now it's 120, which is like, that's not acceptable, but I'm addicted. And in my head, I'm like, this saves me from having to get my eyebrows or eyelashes tinted or like extensions or curled or whatever. So I also should specify if you guys are looking to buy, I buy the three month um, product and it lasts me all year. Like they sell six months for like double, the, like I think six months, like $150. I've never... No. And you just put this on like eyeliner. I've never had a bad reaction. I've never. Although you won't know what I, my aunt did try this and she had a reaction to it. So never say never, but I love it. And then sometimes with extra, I'll put some of my eyebrows. They do have an eyebrow thing too, but I'm like, mm, must just be the same thing, isn't it? I think it would be. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a hair stuff last. The second last thing I do, this is, I do this every night, y'all. Y'all. I'm normally on FaceTime with my friend. She's actually been calling me this time, the whole time. She's probably like, what's happening to our nightly routine? Um, but I use a cuticle oil. I'm trying to, my nails right now, I have these cute little stickers on them. Focus. I'm trying to uh, get my nails back in, to health. So I really like this stuff just because I've used it for so long and there's still so much left. So I put this on my cuticle. You know how in love with you I am. Oh, you guys know what song I've been really into recently? <laughs> oh, you think I would just say the name? <laughs> oh my God, I don't know the note she starts. I got not that one. <laughs> Okay, Harry Styles sings that do or or did a cover. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I got a girl crush. Want everything she has. That smile in the mean I laugh. Or look, I think. She's given to you. 
I want to taste her lips. Yeah, because they taste like you. I want to drown myself in a bottle of her perfume. I'm not kidding. I had a shower this week, bawled my eyes out many times for multiple different reasons. And I played that song on repeat for mm, a long time. And it saved me. It really was amazing to build something about like a heartbreak country song that you're just like, I was on the, sh- I was on like the, in the bath, like the water, like movie music videos, like I miss my do do do. Yeah, cause maybe then you'd love me just as much. Cut that out. Okay. Next, last and final product is hair peptide. Does this work? I don't know. Does it hurt? Absolutely not. I put this on my balding spots, which aren't balding spots. They're just, you know, just, you know, just cute girly things. Okay. And that's pretty much all I do. (laughs) me after talking for 30 minutes and that's pretty much all I do for my nighttime routine it's like really easy like that I'm gonna keep these on because I think they're cute and I did want to tell you guys one little secret that I do and I'm actually gonna go get it you guys are staying on the line one sec so not affiliated don't even know what this brand is don't even know if it's legit but these are Sil- what are they? Silicone anti-wrinkle decolette, decolette, decolette pads. Seems like that word is spelled wrong. This is a silicone patch and this one's used. So I'm sorry. It's called cradle plus and you peel it off. And this is why I didn't put my neck cream low because I put this between my boobs like that when I sleep. <laughs> I really do this and it makes such a difference like if anyone can relate you know when you wake up I sleep like this I sleep in a ball and when you wake up it just there's no wrinkles there's no lines and I feel like it's saving my chest because I'm scared of aging and I don't want to age I want to age but I don't want to look aged you know what I want I want her long blonde hair. I want her magic touch. Yeah, cause maybe then you'd want me just as much. I got a girl crush. You guys need to listen to that song now, please. I'm going to go listen to it too. And it's we're going to be fine. Thank you guys for watching and also just being the nicest people ever like honestly I don't know what I did to deserve the most amazing loyal just like genuinely nice people that follow me and it's so funny because I always know who isn't from this channel when they're like being a little rude or anytime a video gets a dislike I'm like oh well at least like the the algorithm's working in my favor because people are watching this that have no idea who I am (laughs) because you guys are so nice like you'd never dislike a video of mine but I don't care. Dislikes are fine. It's the same as engagement. It actually just lets me know if you like it or not. So if you don't like a video, dislike it, but just don't dislike this one. Okay. I'd be pissed. Okay. That's my nighttime routine. Skincare wise. As basic as it can get. Yes. And that's basic for me. (laughs) Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm going to go listen to Girl Crush now. And I hope you guys too. I hope you guys do too. And I love you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.